Derek talking to police on the day of police brutality, actually. Right? We're just taking a break. We're taking a break. What's the yeah. Yeah. That's the usual response. Surprise, you guys are But I just wanted to see if you could, like, what do you think about the actual action? Specifically related to, I'm sure you guys have heard about the report about HPD assaulting unarmed citizens every day. Do you know anything about that? The Texas Observer from Austin, they did a study last week. They put it out. It shows that based on, uh, you guys on record, that HPD assaults at least one on our citizens every single day in the city. There's supposed to be a discussion on it from Thursday at TSU about, from the representative of the police union and the representative of the They're not saying you guys individually commit violence, but obviously some of your uh, fellow employees do commit violence on a pretty regular basis. You're just interested on your thoughts as an individual human being. Do you not confirm or deny these accusations? What about you, uh, Mercado? You don't seem to be a particularly violent person, I would imagine. You ride bikes, bikes are healthy, probably keep you happy. I'm just curious if you guys care to respond about how the department handles uh, violence. I mean, pretty much HPD is known around the country only to be second to New York Police Department when it comes to violence. And as activists, we deal with you guys on a pretty regular basis. We deal with the black, the black Charger on a regular basis. So we're trying to find a way to connect with you guys. And I understand, you know, you're, running, you're working a job so you can't really comment too much about certain things. It has to come some point when the people and the cops can communicate and talk like human beings and not with these barriers that you guys are choosing to put up, you know? Well, I wish I could give you an answer, but you and I were not both there, so I'm sorry. You're not what? You and I were not both at this Yeah, exactly. well, I'm not saying about any specific incident, but just on your feelings on that. I mean, does that bother you at all to work for a police department that allows violence to continue? I mean, rarely are any of the officers reprimanded or anything even done about it. I mean, I, I imagine you guys, if the violence is that prevalent in the system that you guys have maybe even witnessed something and even, the story even said that when you guys try to uh, reprimand other officers, that it's very, you know, very little is anything ever done about it. Like, officers try to say, hey, like, this guy, maybe he was too rough with somebody, and, I, and I'm going to write a report about it, and nothing happens about that. You know, those uh, things kind of just get washed away. So it's like, I had an aunt who was sex crimes division, HPD, in the 90s, and she left the department because of corruption and stuff. So that's why it's a particular issue to me. As an activist and as a family who's been involved, we've got members of our group who, uh, have family members who are in HPD, so, and our activist group is monitored by you guys, so we are trying to establish some kind of human connection beyond this uh, bullshit that we all have to deal with on a normal basis, which is you guys just standing or running away like that, you know, it's, you know, it's a personal choice, but, I mean, we're not here to cause any harm. Well, the best thing for you guys is to follow the traffic, that's what the command is. The main HPD. Man, I've been trying to go in there, honestly. I've been trying to attend the monthly press sessions for the past two months, and the PIO told me that you know they only accept the mainstream media, or whatever that means. So we're trying to go in there to have these conversations, to ask the chief himself and say, hey, chief, what is our group supposed to do if we're being monitored by you? How do you, know, how do you plan to change the uh, violence in the city? Or how, you know, ask any kind of question like that, and it doesn't seem like they want to answer it. So we're trying to talk to the cop on the street, the man, because you were the guys who were going to make the decision at the end of the day, you know? If I'm committing a crime, you have a choice to take me in peacefully or, you know, however the situation goes down, you know, and, and so it's always going to be a choice on the, the officer's side. You know, I talked to one officer earlier who said it's a dangerous job, but I, I imagine it can be a pretty dangerous job, you know, so I imagine situations can escalate, but there's also tons of video online of cops just unnecessarily tasing people or shooting dogs and doing those things, and I'm not accusing you guys of those things, but... I think that it's the institution of the police itself that allows these things to happen. That it dehumanizes you. I, I was in Harris County for four months, a few years back, working in the court system, and I worked with cops who have been down those court systems for 25 years. And I imagine it can make you a pretty crazy person to have to deal with all those ridiculous people. Well, I mean, just from talking to the cop, you had to deal with the same dumbass questions every day from people. Which way do I go? Where do I do this? And so it kind of changed him as a person, and it got me thinking that I think that. The violence is just within the job itself. I mean, you guys, some people would call HPD basically just the biggest gang in the city. And I don't mean gang in the negative form, but you guys wear the same colors, you have the same uniform, and you look out for each other. Some people call it the thin blue line. 
I mean, it's it's a dangerous thing for us to even be here talking to you guys without cameras. Statistics have shown we're, we're more likely to die from a police officer than we are from a terrorist attack. You know? So like I said, you and I are not both in that situation, so I can give up. No, but we're right here talking about, just the talking man to man about what's happening right now. You know, I'm not talking about anything else. So I'm saying like, I don't, I don't, I don't see you to be the type of person committing violence, but then again, I don't know you. Maybe, you know, if I got out of hand, you might reach straight for your taser and tase me. You know I mean? I, I just want to try to get past the barriers because I think it's the lack of communication on both sides, the protesters over here and the cops over here, that keeps these things going on. You know, we're not actually communicating. Like, I don't know you as a person, you don't know me as a person, and if it stays that way, then it's a lot easier for negative things to happen. And we've seen that throughout history. So. We want to try to connect with you guys. I don't. I'm not necessarily trying to say I want to work with the cops. I wish that we can create a world where you guys don't need to have these jobs, where you know, we can have a bit more peace, where communities are taking care of themselves, where HPD assaults my friend. I don't have to give you guys my tax dollars anymore because the honest truth is that car is running off my tax dollars. My tax dollars paid for your bike and is paying your salary right now. And so it's like when there's six cops that sit here watching us peacefully gather. It's like. Money going, you know, or well, I'll pay taxes to cops pull shotguns on me and arrest my friends for no reason, or grab friends and assault friends. Like, and these are things that have happened on video, and nothing's happened by HPD. And I pay for that, you know, so it's a little upsetting. Like but I it's, said, you, you were not in a situation, so you don't know what's going on. Well, I've been in situations where HPD's pulled a shotgun on me. What well, are you saying about the internet thing? Like I said, I told you. Well, it's based on y'all's records, HPD's records themselves, that you show assault here, assault here. Um, Police reporting assaults themselves, and you know you see this high number of, of assaults, and then you see this very, very—I think they said two percent—were actually reprimanded in any way. You know what I mean? That's a pretty low number. To, like I said, I wish I could give an answer, but you and I were not both. There. But how do you personally feel about violence? Like I said, you and I were not both. There. I'm not talking about anything specific. Like I said, you as an individual. Like I said, you're not an individual. Like I said, you and I were not both. There. Both I'm where? Sorry. Both where? I'm just trying to get you to go further beyond that one question, man. I know that you you know what I'm saying. Be nice to you. I know. Talk to the, the very professional. I appreciate that. Okay. We didn't come, come to us. Yeah, I know. I mean, I approach you guys just like any other person on the street. Right. We're just like getting the same. We're not just talking. I appreciate okay. that. You know, you're not breaking the law. You're not stitching the law. Exactly. Yeah. Just here to make sure nobody gets hurt. And you guys all took an oath to the Constitution when you were right. police officer. Right. So we're yeah. we here to make sure everybody's safe. Everybody gets hurt. Like I said, we, just, we try to make contact with the cops because we want to, for one thing, I'm glad the Constitution came up because although the Constitution is pretty much being ignored in this country, the police on the local level are going to be the ones that are going to help save the, uh, you know, keep the people from real crazy stuff. We're happening. just here for y'all, make sure you know, y'all are right. We got a right to do what you want to do. We're going to exercise that right as, as, to the fullest. And, uh, and I appreciate you taking time to talk to us because like I said, I talked I talk to a police officer or I talk to anybody, badge or not badge, just the same way with the same amount of respect. You know, when people come to me rudely if they're a cop or not, I, you know, I'm like, whoa, what's going on, you know? So some officers choose not to talk, so I at least appreciate that you uh, can carry on a conversation. Thank you. I didn't good say day, that, by the way. Have a good day. Right there. Thank you.